Uh, we've heard lots of stories about videos uh, and how they stream them and how they uh, put ads on top of them. I will try to uh, focus on how videos are being produced at the end of the day without video content out there. The whole industry is, has nothing to show. So uh, Watch It is a video creation platform made for publishers and brands. Uh, founded the company in 2012, almost six years now. We have th three offices around the world. R&D Center in Israel, we've talked about that, you know, the distribution R&D Center is here. We have offices in London and New York City, where the headquarters is. About 60 employees. Uh, we work currently with about over 600 publishers and brands who work daily with our platform, producing 35,000 videos every day, every month. Uh, we are active in two main markets. One of them is the media and publishing markets. You'll see some logos in a minute. Uh, but the other market is content marketing, where people create content in order to uh, um, deliver a message out there. We've raised close to $30 million uh, from both strategic investors and traditional VCs. Um, this is really relevant for this uh, specific event because uh, some of our investors are basically based out of Europe. So we have ProSieben in Germany, uh, that is an, is an investor PA, which is uh, from UK. SPH from Singapore, a little bit uh, in Asia Pacific. Um, have been working really hard. Um, we've seen lots of logos already, but I'm really proud in this uh, slide. Um, as I said, over 600 publishing brands. Um, you can see the typical names like, again, RTL or, or ProSieben in Germany, USA Today, actually across Gannett, CBS, the usual suspects, and worldwide Latin America, Telemundo, Televisa, Basically everywhere, as I said, 35,000 videos every month being created by these names. So let's talk a little bit about what we do and why we do it. Um, video is just hard, just super complex to create. You need videographers, you need sound engineers, you need graphic design, uh, you need to license content. It's just super complex. Um, and today, with the pace of um, you know, uh, pace of marketing and pace of publishing. Sometimes, you know, a, a piece of content has a shelf life of about a minute and you just cannot keep up with the pace. You need to create something that enables you to move fast, to create high quality video and not compromise on quality. Uh, so that's why we've built our platform. So as I said, stories, copy editing, all of that is super complex. Multiple platforms, you need to be on social, you need to be on OTT, you need to be on your own and operated sites. And speed to market is clearly uh, very important. So in order to... Uh, make video simple. We created a platform that is basically made out of three pillars. One of them is automation, and I want to use it carefully because video cannot be completely automated. The storytelling cannot be completely automated. Uh, in order to create an engaging story, you have to have a tone of voice, intonation, a little bit of sense of humor, those kind of things you would normally not inject with automation. But you could automate a significant part of the process, such as I created a 16 by 9 uh, wide video and I want to turn it into a square video to put on Instagram. With Watch It, this is something you do on a click of a button. I'll show you some other examples on automation. Having said that automation is not enough, we've built editing components, so to speak, or creative components that enables you to have full control over how your video is going to look like. Uh, here is, I think that's the most, uh, uh, most of our power relies on those editing tools. They are meant by definition for non-videographers. Any kid can do, can do it and create great results. The last component is content. To tell a story, you need to have raw footage. I'll explain about it in much more details in the next slide. Uh, but we bring all of these three elements, automation, creative components, and content, raw content, put them into one platform that enables you to turn a story into a video, highly, highly engaging quality video, in about 10 minutes. So a little bit of a couple of examples when talking about automation. So for example, taking a story and automatically finding all the relevant content to cover that story. That is something that we do within about 10 seconds. And in the next slide, I'll show you all the sources we bring that content, because all the content that we find to match a story is completely licensed and ready to go. A professional voiceover, this is something really unique that we've done early on. Um, people need sometimes voiceover on their videos. We've created something that I call Uber for voiceover. We've literally built a voiceover talent network that would deliver professional voiceover recorded in real time within about three minutes in any genre that you can think of, entertainment, politics, or news. We do it today in English and Spanish. It was originally mostly for the US market, uh, but now that we're uh, spread all around the world, most of our clients that do it, whether it's Korean, Japanese, uh, French, 
Uh, they do it themselves, but it's inside the platform. You don't need to go out. Support for multiple platforms, as I said, the ability to move from one format to another. Custom branding is super important. At the end of the day, um, when you want to work with a, um, a platform that saves you time on creating your video, the last thing you want is to have a cookie cutter. You don't want every video to look the same, and you don't want your brand to look as like any other brand. So the ability to customize in our case is very, very strong. We've built lots of capabilities uh, on customization. And last but not least are native publishing tools to put it on all the platforms that integrate uh, with any platform, including, by the way, Kaltura was mentioned here and other OVPs uh, into social networks, etc. So in terms of uh, content sources, uh, this is a very significant part of the platform. That's the third pillar that I've mentioned. In order to have the ability for people to get all that content, we've teamed up with the likes of Getty Images, Reuters, AFP, AP, Xinhua, and CCTV in China. Any source that you can think of, we have access to all of their content in real time. And we basically solve two big issues for our clients. One, we manage the licensing. So every piece of content that you use on our platform is ready to go in terms of license, it's clear. The second thing are redistribution rights. Again, every piece of content can then be redistributed to any of your platforms. That's a big headache for anyone who's creating videos. So we solve that through those um, partnerships, huge libraries, 75 million assets, hundreds of thousands of assets are being ingested every day. I'm actually going to skip that because of, the, of uh, my time, and I want to show you an example of a case study. Uh, we're working with Gannett. I assume you, you guys know Gannett, but Gannett are the um, owners of USA Today and 140 more properties across the US. This is what happened when they started working with us within about six months. Uh, what's amazing that you see over here is the number of active users on our platform, over 1,000 users in this single organization. Um, that is to say that it's not only the videographers who started using it, but it went much deeper into um, social marketing teams, uh, reporters and editors who create content for uh, the USA Today properties, a thousand users. And in terms of the number of videos, by the way, today it's even higher than that. About 6,000 videos are being created every month only by this client alone. And the revenue that they've generated through those videos literally uh, multiplied by nine, which is Pretty amazing from the day they started working with us. I want to show you one more thing. Um, <clears throat> a great example of uh, the ability to create content in speed and scale. So there was the Winter Olympics. You know what? I'm going to play it. And um, I need the volume a little bit uh, low, but you're going to see it in a minute. So within the Winter Olympics, Eurosport needed to create content in literally uh, 10 different languages. So they created one piece, and they put it on all over social, OTT, mobile, everywhere. They needed to create it in different languages. They worked with us, created over a thousand videos uh, through the course of those few days of the Winter Olympics. Uh, so you can see just one example, the ability to translate between one language to another. That's the Spanish version of the same English version. And again, it was translated to nine more languages. Uh, so just example, so fonts and colors are all customized. You will see in a minute the closer, the brand, everything is a, a, a Eurosport uh, brand on it, the bug, etc. I'll let it play a little bit. Some dangerous stuff. And you got the idea. So thanks everybody. That was watch it. <laughs>